Now it is time to ask an expert. We're our good friends in the four-wheel drive industry answer your questions about everything 4x4. And this week's question comes from Nick Calazis. And Nick writes, can you use a hand winch that's rated at 1.6 tonne with a snatch block to recover a stuck vehicle or should you use a power puller rated at 4 tonne? Now that is a good question and I think Alan Johnson from Piranha Off-Road Products would be the best person to ask. Here we are in the wonderful Berrimer State Forest and we've actually managed to get the Toyota stuck. Now as it so happens this particular guy hasn't got a winch and as it so happens I just happen to have brought along my old Suzuki winch. This thing is actually rated at about 750 kilos which is nowhere near the capacity of this car. Now that's quite an interesting thing. Can we actually use a winch this small to pull something this damn heavy out, which is about three tonnes? The answer is absolutely yes. The safety factor on that cable is about three to one, so therefore the braking capacity is about three times. We can put a snatch block onto that tree and we can gently pull some power onto this car and it will quite happily pull it out. We've got the snatch block attached to the front of the car, the winch dampener over the cable, the turf or hand winch is set up here, and as you will notice, ladies and gentlemen, with every stroke of the turf and machine, it will move ever so slightly. And because the snatch block is now in line, it will move half the distance. Now, if we didn't have a, a, a winch that was strong enough to do this job, we can still assist the car. Now, we may not be able to pull it out holeless bolus, but we can certainly assist it. Letting tyre pressures down, a little bit of digging and cleaning up underneath, and we should be able to be ready to go. So yes, certainly it'll work. A lot of people ask us about shear pins and what do they do. These two things here, these little silver bits here, are the shear pins. This handle operates by going backward and forward like so. That shear pin will break before the winch lets go, so you have absolute safety. If you're going to break the shear pin first, the thing will not let go. It'll just lock up and nothing will move. 